Well, I keep telling you, I'm not in love with Teresa. I mean, she's hurting and I'm concerned for her. I believe you, Ethan. I just wanted to make sure. Sheridan, hi. I was just headed over to the cottage to show you my ring. Oh. Isn't it the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? It's stunning. I'm so happy for you both. Oh, thank you. I just can't wait to tell Ethan's parents our news. Ivy and Julian still don't know you're engaged? No. Mm -hmm. They went out of... Neither one of them left a number that where they could be reached. <laughs> Won't they be surprised when they get home? Mm. Mother will jump for joy and father... Uh... Julian will be checking the tax advantages on you and Gwen, filing joint returns. Hmm. My unromantic brother aside, I know you two are going to have a happy and long marriage. You bet we are. We're not going to end up like my parents, bickering all the time. Mm -mm. I want to toast the happy couple. Ethan, would you please go get some champagne? Mm. The best in father's wine cellar. <laughs> Well, you won the bet that we made in Paris last summer. Oh. But then again, deep down inside, I always knew that you'd beat me to the altar. Oh, Sheridan, I don't know. Ethan and I have such a big wedding to plan. You could elope long before I ever make it down the aisle. <laughs> Need to find a man to marry first. <laughs> what about Louise? Oh, Quinn. <laughs> I already told you what Julian said. And he has a point. Louise and I come from two different worlds. What are the chances of us finding common ground to build a future on? Well, you never know unless you try. I could end up hurting Louise. I'd never forgive myself if that happened. Sheridan, I know you've never hurt anybody. No, not intentionally. Well, then? <laughs> Louise takes things so seriously. I mean, if things didn't work out between us... And... and what if they did? I just wish I knew exactly how I was feeling towards Louise. I really don't even know how he feels towards me, either.